In this Maths Olympiad question, we're given that x squared minus y squared equals 24 and xy equals 35. Using these, we need to work out what x plus y equals. So we've got two equations in terms of x and y, which means we should be able to solve them. So let's start by doing some substitution. If we take the xy equals 35, we can rearrange that into y equals 35 over x. We can now substitute that into our other equation to give us x squared minus 35 over x all squared equals 24. Squaring out the brackets gives us x squared minus 1225 over x squared is equal to 24. And now if we multiply through by x squared and move everything over to one side, we end up with x to the power of four minus 24 x squared minus 1225 equals zero. So we've now got a quartic equation, but as there's just x to the four x squared and an integer, we can treat this like a quadratic in terms of x squared. Let's try and solve this by completing the square. So our x to the four minus 24 x squared, we can put that in as x squared minus 12 all squared. I'm gonna take away 144, which would come from the 12 squared if we expanded the brackets, and we still got that minus 1,225 on the end. Moving the 144 and the 1,225 over to the right-hand side, we end up with x squared minus 12 all squared equals 1,369. So x squared minus 12 must equal plus or minus the square root of 1,369, which is plus or minus 37. So x squared equals 12 plus or minus 37, which gives us minus 25 or 49. We've now got two cases to solve. Let's start off with the positive one. So if x squared equals 49, x must equal plus or minus seven. Using our y equals 35 over x, we'd get that y equals 35 over seven, when x is seven, and 35 over minus seven, when x is minus seven, hence plus or minus five. So we get the pairings x equals seven, y equals five, and x equals minus seven, y equals minus five. Well, if we add them together, seven plus five is 12, minus seven plus minus five is minus 12. So the solutions from here are x plus y equals plus or minus 12. Now let's deal with our negative one. So if x squared is minus 25, x would equal plus or minus five i, where i is our imaginary number. So then y would equal either 35 over five i, 35 over minus 5i. Dividing through by the 5 gives us 7 over i or minus 7 over i. Now this is a bit where we've got to be careful. If we multiply top and bottom of these fractions by i, so as to get rid of the fraction, for the first one, for example, we'd end up with 7i over i squared. But i squared is minus 1, so that would be 7i over minus 1, which is minus 7i. So the first one simplifies to minus seven i, and the second fraction, minus seven over i, will obviously simplify to positive seven i. So our pairings now are positive five i and negative seven i, and negative five i with positive seven i. Well, if we add the first two together, we get minus two i. We add the second two together, we get positive two i. So x plus y is equal plus or minus two i. So there we go, we've got four solutions, plus or minus 12 and plus or minus two i. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel or check out some more of my videos by clicking on the links here.